I'm Nia hurd -Garris. I'm a physician at Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago and also a researcher at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. My research interest revolves around stressors and the macro and micro level stressors of kids. I'm trying to understand how stress really gets under the skin and affects children's health. So specifically, I'm interested in adverse childhood experiences, and that's just a collection of experiences that can be potentially traumatic for kids. One of my main focuses is structural racism. I feel like a lot of researchers miss that when thinking about stress in children. So for me, racism touches on each and every social determinant of health. From economic instability, to housing, to healthcare, racism magnifies those social determinants. This systematic review focused mostly on caregivers, like how did the discrimination their caregivers experience impact their health. But really when I um, thought about the project, I was thinking about a lot of the events that happened in the media that kids were being exposed to. So whether that was on social media or the regular traditional news media, and how those images and videos and likes and shares that they were seeing and reposting, how that was affecting their sense of self and well-being and their health long term. For example, in the media, when crimes happen and they show a, a picture of the suspect, so one, um, a lot of times for people of color, would be a typical mugshot where they look scary or brute looking picture versus um, for white assailants, sometimes it'll be their graduation photos and their high school photos. And just seeing, you know, seeing that difference. And then also how they describe the assailants, like they were thugs, they are you know, gangbangers or whatever versus, you know, they were just a good kid caught in, caught at the wrong place at the wrong time kind of thing. And so that is kind of a way that maybe it's not intended to be racist or um, perpetuate racism, but it absolutely does and kids and adults are seeing those things. One of the key points I'd like readers to take away from my article is that racism affects us all and specifically it affects our health. So regardless if we're native, if we're white, if we're black, if we're Asian, Hispanic, it doesn't matter. Race affects health. And we live in an equitable society. And as long as we continue to promote the status quo of racial hierarchy, we're all gonna be unhealthy. It's really important that we break down these racial hierarchies because our society is less healthy because of it. Our society, our economy, our potential as a world, as a nation, depends on it.